Hi, my name is Chrissy. I was born in 1983. I grew up in Severna Park, Maryland, a suburb between Baltimore and Annapolis. And when I was about seven years old, I had the coolest babysitter. She lived up the street and I was friends with her younger brother. A group of us would play outside every day till the street lamps flickered on and we were called in for dinner, like a scene out of the Wonder Years. In this time period, around 1990, my favorite toys were My Little Ponies. I loved them. I would invent adventures for them. This babysitter I had, she was so cool. She'd come over and draw for me. Anything I liked, and we both liked horses, so pony, pegasus, unicorn. She was so quick and talented, I'd never seen anything like it before. My parents come home to this stack of drawings and they were like, what? This girl's got it. I never forgot about it. Well, a couple of years later, her family moved away. We lost touch entirely. Time passes as it always does and I never found out what happened to her. Well, curiosity got the better of me and I did a little bit of research recently. Turns out that my babysitter, who over 20 years ago would draw me ponies just to put a smile on my face, was Lauren Faust. So I asked my mom, I said, do we have any of these drawings? I'm just, I'm just curious. My mom saved these for over 20 years. This is Lauren when she's like 16. I really hope this doesn't embarrass her. Here's a Mare Pegasus Unicorn Trinity to Christina and Farah, my younger sister. Love, Lauren. Some early character development, I do believe. Crazy. Um, when I found out what Lauren has worked on, what she's accomplished, what she's done with her time, I felt like this little girl again. She brought My Little Pony back <laughs> with Friendship is Magic. There's a big male following known as Bronies. It's it's so cool. I'm a big fan of the show now. It's, it's better than it's ever been. It's not just for kids. It's not just for girls. Good animation, quality animation touches everyone. It's my dad that gets us excited about it. He's the one that brings up Miyazaki at the dinner table. She worked on Powerpuff Girls, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, The Iron Giant. She's working on a new project now. It's wonderful and very well deserved. So I just wanted to say, all these years later, thank you.